Hard to believe, but just two games left in the regular season before we turn our attention to postseason. Welcome into the show. I'm Christy Thomas alongside the coach. Coach, that's hard to believe that we're down to the end of the season here, and you had a tough two-game stretch here. Yeah, we've uh, dropped a couple of games here, and it's uh, been been uh, some, some tough, tough losses for us, but uh, we're a little banged up right now. Hopefully we can get uh, a little bit more healthy and and finish strong here down the stretch. Let's take a look at some of those highlights from down at Ole Miss. And this one was a tough one for you. Jen O'Neill got started, was hot for you early. Yeah, played real well early on. Did a really good job. And uh, it was kind of back and forth. And we just couldn't get a lot of separation. And that, that, that play at the end of the half right there was uh, tough. We had a chance to make it a four-point lead. And then uh, had a blown assignment and, and, and let them tie it up in the half. That's a nice... Nice move by Asia, the great, great play out of the timeout there for uh, Bria Goss doing a good job and got a layup. And, uh, but um, Ole Miss just was able to make a lot of shots and, and do a good job. And um, I thought they really, really battled on the boards down the stretch uh, to, to, to get the game and to secure the win. So I thought they fought a lot harder than we did. So that's disappointing. And uh, we just need to really try to get back going here where we can uh, play some Kentucky type basketball. Tell us about Michaela Epps and how she's doing. Well, she had a, a strained tendon in her uh, toe, which uh, was on top of a strained Achilles. And so she's very, very slow uh, right now because of that injury. So hopefully we can get her some rest and uh, get her back healthy where she can get some explosiveness back. Just in time for postseason. Well, he's a native of Paris. France, not Kentucky, but now he's calling the bluegrass home and he's on Coach Mitchell's 30 second shot clock. The 30 second shot clock is brought to you by Fayette Heating and Air. 30 second shot clock this week. Welcome in everybody. We are joined this week, second week in a row, with an assistant coach on the staff for the Kentucky Wildcats, first year assistant. Coach Adney Amadou. Hi. How are you, Adney? I'm doing very well. How are you, Coach? I'm doing fantastic. Great. I think uh, it is uh, important to let people know that you're from one of my favorite cities on the planet, Paris, France. Yes, is this sir. correct? Yes, sir. Absolutely. And it's a wonderful city. Now, let, let me ask you this. How many, what, do you know the population? Is it is it like New York? Is it smaller than New York? Is it, is it New York's what, eight million, something like yes, that? Yes, yes, about the same. About the same? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you know what I like when I go to Paris? I like to drive out of the city and go to the Palace of Versailles. Okay, okay. The Hall of Mirrors. You're living like a king. There you go, <laughs> That's exactly what I'm trying to do, live like a king. That's right. It doesn't always work, but I'm trying to do that. There so that's go. so some fun stuff. You know what, Jenna, I, I, I know you watch the show all the time, yes, so sir. I'm sure you love the coaches' Religiously. kitchen. Religiously. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and so we love the uh, coaches' kitchen. Uh, your best French food there in Paris, where would you tell me to go eat, and, or what would you tell me to order? I would say... Um, Cocovin, have you ever tried? Oh, Cocovin, I, I love Cocovin. Which is a dish of uh, chicken. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jenna makes Cocovin. I really? bet she doesn't make it like they do in Paris. Now, she would say that she does. I hear she's a good cook, though. Yeah, yeah, that's what, that's what, that's <laughs> what, what she says. says. Well, Coach, you're doing a great job working out with the Post players. Have you enjoyed working with uh, the Post this year at Kentucky? It's been great. It's been a blast. Yeah. It's been a really good uh, players like Asia Bishop. Yeah. I've, I've really, really been exciting and challenging. Yeah. Hey, hey, you're, you're telling me. I, I know all about challenging with Asia Bishop. But they're working hard for you. You're doing a great job, and we're Thank so you. glad you're at Kentucky. And it's been a great year and looking forward to a bunch of years uh, in the future. That's Adney Amadou. I'm Coach Mitchell. 30-second shot clock. Thank you. So here's another new face bringing a lot to the program. Yeah, Adney's done a great job and works extremely hard, spends a lot of hours uh, with our players trying to help them get better and a lot of hours recruiting, and so we're lucky to have him. Absolutely. Well, coming up, Coach and the Marion County Mafia are snowed in at the Joe Craft Center, so they're all over the shout-outs. The Guitar Tip of the Week is next. The Matthew Mitchell Show is presented by Fayette Heating and Air and is brought to you by Central Bank, Commonwealth Credit Union, Kennedy's Wildcat Den, Kentucky Farm Bureau, Kentucky Office of Highway Safety, and by Kroger.
Sonei. It's another edition of Get Talk Tip of the Week. I'm your host, Coach Matthew Mitchell, joined by the dazzling, the delightful, and the never dull, I'm not sure about that, dynamic duo, Marion County Mafia, Cleveland Good and Rogers, Michaela Epps. We're in the middle of Snowmageddon 2015. It's snowing again? I didn't say snowing again. I said Snowmageddon like Armageddon. Have you ever watched that movie, Armageddon? No. Oh my gosh, you don't even know what I'm talking about, but it's snowmageddon, folks. We may never even leave the uh, Joe Craft Center ever again where there's so much snow outside. It's time for the Game Show Sweep the Nation. Ask Kyvan. The question is from Jimmy Dale Cottle of Hazard, Kentucky, hometown of Beth Price. Kyvan, what is your favorite dessert at one of the top restaurant chains in America? Yes. On to the shout outs to Luther in Anchorage, Alaska, to Cindy Hayden of Versailles, Kentucky, who wants to know. If, do you see that Facebook page? No, you don't. Not funny at all. Keep your jokes to yourselves. To Tara Glazebrook of Madisonville, Kentucky, and to Bruce Heller of St. Louis, Missouri, who wants the Guitar Tip of the Week t-shirt because he came to our game at Missouri. I wonder if that qualifies you to get a t-shirt. Epps, take it away. To Ron Cottle of Richmond. How many Cottles are going to be on the show this week? Of uh, Richmond, Virginia. Who says the Marion County Mafia is electrifying and Cindy Riley in Eddyville, Kentucky. Coach, I have a little geography lesson for you. Do you? Did you know Eddyville is where the state pen is located? I do, and I'm probably going to be there one day if you guys keep driving me crazy on the guitar tip of the way. Continue. It's also referred to as the Castle on the Cumberland. Just a little trivia for well, you. Well, thank you for that little tidbit. Continue. <laughs> of course, we have to send a shout out to Turner Man, Ernie Brown, and Squirrel, who both live deep in the back deep in the backwoods of Marion County. I call him <laughs> Cecilia Betts of Bessemer. Yeah, Bessemer, or some people say Bessemer. Bessemer. Yeah, right. Bessemer of Alabama, right. who's always watching the Wildcats and cheering. She's always watching. She's always watching, Clyde. And because it's Play for K Week, we want to send a shout out to all of the brave people out there that are fighting breast cancer. Keep fighting. And let's look at these sh look at these shoes Nike sent us. They're pink. Play for K. Go ahead on. Continue, Clyde. <laughs> And to everybody's favorite Uncle Bobby and Aunt Kay in Gallatin, Tennessee. How great was it to see their picture on the show last week? I know you both watched the show. Loved it. Yeah, Loved right, it. right. right. <laughs> T-shirts, we're going to get a T-shirt to Bruce Heller over here in St. Louis, Missouri. I go over there every summer and watch. Uh, my, my, I'm a Reds fan, but my dad's a Cardinals fan. We go over there and watch Cardinals play. Maybe we'll all go over there. Maybe we'll take our guitars. Right. They play some blues over there. We play more country here on the guitar table. Will you see that Facebook page? Yep. yep. Now, if you want a shout out, you'll show them a the t-shirt apps. If you want one of these t-shirts, just write it on that Facebook page, and that's the guitar tip of the week. The UK Hoops program goes well beyond basketball. Bria explains coming up in Behind the Blue. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Behind the Blue with Bria. Coach Mitchell is not just about athletics in this program. He is about developing women of great character as well. He recently gave me a book called The Energy Bus by John Gordon. This is a great book about how giving energy can lead to success. This is what I had to say on it. Hey guys, as you can see, I'm holding the book called The Energy Bus. This bus is a great read by John Gordon, who did a great job explaining how positive energy can lead to, can help me be a successful leader. I have um, really enjoyed this book. It's an easy read. I think everyone should read it. I recently just read it, and I have taken this book and what I've learned onto the court. Um, me and my fellow seniors, have, as you know, we play our last game here in a couple days, and. I really wanted this to, to show um, that's to show Coach Mitchell what we could do. And I took this and we got the team together and we really wanted to talk about how our program could need more po positive energy um, and taking it to the floor every day and how important it is. I really, really enjoy Coach Mitchell's support on this. On the, and thank you so much for giving this book and opening my eyes to what it can mean just by giving a positive energy. That can be something as simple as saying, um, Hey, so-and-so, how are you? Are you doing a good? I think that would really lift up somebody's day. Um, 
from the court basis, you know, you go to your teammate who maybe doesn't look as happy as you are. You say, hey, guys, let's go in here. Let's have a great practice and let's get out and go home. Um, just little simple things like that can really change the dynamic of the team. And I really enjoy this book and I really think that everyone should read it. Um, it has a lot more to do than just basketball. This can go in the work field as well. So if you're in a job interview, just asking questions before the interview um, can simply just give you an edge. And I really think that everyone should read it. Thanks. Behind the Blue with Bria. This is an easy read book that will open your eyes to greatness. Thank you, Coach Mitchell, for not only caring for me as a ball player, but as a person. We're heading down the home stretch of the coach's kitchen, and Coach and the First Lady are churning out another healthy, delicious dish. That's next. Newtown Crossing, the townhomes at Newtown Crossing, and Royal Lexington are designed with UK students in mind. Visit LexingtonStudentHousing.com to apply online. Brought to you by McGee's Bakery, in downtown Lexington since 1956. Welcome in, everybody. Another edition of the Coach's Kitchen, brought to you by McGee's Bakery, a wonderful place to visit here in Lexington. I'm your host, Hall of Fame chef, Matthew Mitchell, the coach. That's why we call it the Coach's Kitchen, alongside my beautiful wife, who's often cantankerous, but always talented in the kitchen. Jenna, how are you today? I'm doing well, how are you? Can you believe, well, I'm doing fan fantastic, thanks for asking. Can you believe that the, the eighth season of the Coach's Kitchen is winding down and coming to a close? I really can't. How do you make it through the other weeks of the year when you aren't able to be on television? Do you crave the adulation and the and the fame that this shows and this particular this segment has brought you? I just long to get back in the kitchen. And you film. crave yes, the I fame. Crave it. Well, yeah. you're very famous, and the reason you're famous is because your recipes are the bomb diggity bomb. <laughs> And so we have another one for you this week. Jenna, what are we cooking in the coach's kitchen? Turkey Sloppy Joe's. Turkey Sloppy Joe's. Now, you've all had Sloppy Joe's. You used to get to home after school, and you'd say, Mom, what's for dinner? And she'd say, Sloppy Joe's. And you'd go, Woohoo! Sloppy yeah. Joe's. Oh, my goodness. But now we're going to have a little healthy twist on Sloppy yeah. Joe's, right? What'd you do? So I sauteed half a red bell pepper. Um, half of a red onion, um, and they're both diced fine. And this is about a pound of turkey, white turkey, so the turkey breast. So turkey, is it the other white meat? Um, no, 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 that's, that's, a, that's, pork. A, that's pork, right. Yeah. So turkey is uh, like the other um, bird that Benjamin Franklin wanted to be our Oops. national bird. Been a little bit too And much. then George Washington came in and said, no, it's going to be the eagle. And then they had a big you know, to do over that. But Benjamin Franklin, little known fact, wanted the turkey to be our national bird instead of the eagle. So instead of on the dollar bill, that big eagle Again, wings. no one's heard the recipe. This is... Oh, I thought we covered all the recipe. Is there something no, else to say? Yes. Oh, what's the next step? So um, that was um, two tablespoons of brown sugar, um, about, you know, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. I call it Worcestershire. And then um, eight ounces of tomato sauce. And this, you can have whatever tomato sauce you want, but this is an Arabita, so it's... Um, Ar Ar Arabita. And um, so... Where's the Sloppy Joe sauce? This is a homemade Sloppy Joe sauce. Oh, is Sloppy Joe a, a brand? Uh, no. Well, okay, well, what are you talking about then? I don't understand. Well, I'm confused. Well, they I think they sell like Sloppy Joe sauce, just like they sell like a taco sauce. Oh. Um, Good point. Anyway, so... Um, but we put Arabita sauce in our Sloppy Joe's yeah. right now because it has a little extra kick to it, right? Yeah. And, wow, um, it smells great. I wish you could smell it through your television right that's now. That's pretty much it. The turkey was warm enough, so that should have warmed the sauce. So the turkey may or may not be done at this point in time. <laughs> and what you're saying is, is that, is that I'm going to taste that. It's done. Did you know that deal about um, the turkey with Benjamin Franklin? Yes. <laughs> I think you've talked about it a couple of times. No, no, you didn't. Did you? That's great. Well, I, they were teaching you guys something down there on Millie Island, Florida, weren't they? Okay, time to taste. Probably more than you were learning in Mississippi. Whoa! What a shot! Wow! That's ugly. 
Ugliness has developed in the coach's kitchen this week. Well, I mean, you were, uh, you started it. Mm. 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 Is it good? Oh. I feel oh, like I'm wonderful. forgetting an ingredient. But that's I'll tell you what. We're really great parents, you know. Teaching these kids how to live. Well, you started it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, they were not around. Goodness. They didn't hear it. Is that what our kids are going to do? They say something <laughs> ugly and many of Well, you started it. Come on. What Be about mature you? about this deal. What about you screaming on the sidelines? Do I ever? Yeah. Mm, I've made yeah. it like six or seven straight games without being ejected. <laughs> and I think it's a great streak. Yes. You see that Facebook page? I do. No, you don't. If you want the recipe to, to Turkey Sloppy Joe's or just anything Coach's Kitchen related, get on that it's Facebook page. Rewind and not listen to him. Yeah. And, or maybe there'll be some clips of this ugliness in the Coach's Kitchen, but I still love you. I love no, you too. Oh, thank you so much. What are we going to tell these good folks out there? We'll see you next week. Coming up, we're back in the post as Coach shows you what to do if your defender is playing you straight up. The tip of the week is next. UK Athletics would like to thank our official Cornerstone partners. Central Bank, the official bank of UK Athletics. And Kentucky Farm Bureau, big on commitment. The tip of the week is brought to you by Window World, the preferred window installers of the Big Blue Nation. Coaches Tip of the Week, welcome in everybody. It's the time on our show where we help our younger viewers become better players. Third week in a row, post play, we're getting better in the post. Posts and guards, you, listen, you guards, you may have to post up too. Back with super soft and television superstar from Lebanon, Kentucky, Kevin Gooden Rogers. It just gets better every week. I mean, just better and better every week. Last week we talked about Finding your advantage, all right? So the defense is on the high shoulder. She's going to go baseline. If defense is on the low shoulder, she's going inside drop step. You remember that? Now, what do you do if the defense plays you straight up, all right? And you don't know which way to go. Well, now you need to catch the basketball. And now the first thing you want to do is check. See how Kyvin looks and finds out where I am. And so now we're going to do a real simple reverse pivot series. Three shots here. She can face up. If the defense hands are down, she can just shoot the jumper. A lot of times a post player, it's a quick move. They don't have their hands up. You can just really face up quick and take a quick jumper right there, all right? The next one, after you've made a jumper on them, you can face up and the defense crowds you, attack this top shoulder right there and get right into a jump hook. And that's uh, the second move in the reverse pivot series. And then the third one is, after you've gone by them a couple times, face up, now they try to get up hill on you there and you can just turn back baseline and shoot that shot. And so if you have all three shots, being able to catch the basketball, that's going to make you really versatile. But the main key is when you don't know where your advantage is, it's very important to face up. Face up and see where the defense is, and then you can make the proper move, and that's going to help you score a bunch of points. Your coach is going to like that. That's the coach's tip of the week. The tip of the week was brought to you by Window World, the preferred window installers of the Big Blue Nation. I said it at the top of the show. It's hard to believe we're at the end of the season. The seniors have one more game on Sunday. It's a big one. It is, and it's uh, the season is just flying by, and uh, that's always a, a bittersweet day. You're you're so sad that it's uh, their final regular season game, and uh, Asia and Bria and Jennifer and and Jalea have just all, uh, in their own way, just done such a great job for us and added so much to the program. So. You see them and their families come out. So it's a special day. We always have a great crowd. So um, it, it's, it's, it's a bittersweet day. It's, uh, you're happy that they did a great job, but uh, sad to see them go. But we'll, we'll, uh, we'll try to send them out with a bang. Absolutely, and we'll have highlights of that for you next week. Well, for Coach Mitchell, I'm Christy Thomas. We'll see you same time, same place next week. The Matthew Mitchell Show was presented by Fayette Heating and Air and was brought to you by Central Bank, Commonwealth Credit Union, Kennedy's Wildcat Den,
Kentucky Farm Bureau, Kentucky Office of Highway Safety, and by Kroger.